All right. Session four, last time we played on the ninth, the party discovers heavy drag marks leading into the wor wormwood north of Castor. The party follows the tracks and are attacked by skeletons and zombies. The party discovers a large hideout built into a cliff face. The party finds the broken caskets taken from the graveyard of Castor. The party discovers this is a kobold hideout. The party overhears the kobold leader speak of a lord of three and a plan to overrun the east of Ashtar by the use of a power the kobolds were given by this lord of three. The party discovers that the kobolds are in great fear of this Lord of Three. All right. So you guys are deep in the cave, looking across the waterfall. The room is, is dimly lit, which is the only reason the kobolds have not noticed your torches, because the room is dimly lit through a hole in the ceiling. Up at the top, you can see the water is actually falling in from outside through a hole in the roof of the cave. Now... You guys remember what was said last week by the by the uh, cobalt? If not, I can put it up again. I did save it as a note. So. Oh yeah, them. It is important, so it's up to you. If you want me to repeat it, I will. We have a note. It's just called new note in the notes. Excellent. I think we got two options or three options here. We can just straight out fight them. We can try to run, or. We can try to convince them that we were sent by the Lord of Three to maybe take over for them or something. I don't know. I don't... I feel like we need to attack first because if we go and try to say we're from the Lord of Three, they're going to have... There's going to be like some kind of code word or some kind of thing that, you know, we were supposed to say. And they're going to have the advantage on us. Well, we do know the main guy's name. Maybe we could convince him. Are they going to trust humans in an elf? Probably not. I don't know. It was, it's it's probably not even worth a try, but it was just an option. Yeah, it's an option. I just, I'd, I'd rather not be put down and then try to capture us because we basically willingly go up to them. Where are our notes again? The notes over to the over to the far. I'm sorry. Before you start, go down to library, and make sure you've clicked on the little plaque at the top that says play. Ah, that, that will have that will have all the correct uh, plaques to the right, and then notes is like a little feather, a little quill. I'm not sure on what we what we should do here because. Fighting sounds like a good idea, but yet there are a lot more of them than there are of us. But I also feel like in the end, whether or not we leave now or we go up and just try to trick them, we're going to fight them at some point. I feel like I, they, I, their group could get much larger and that's that would be worse for us later. There are passages to the north and south. What are y'all? Th what are y'all thinking? Proud, are you there? You were muted. Yep. You might have to. Okay, you're here. Okay. Now, everybody, remember you all have inspiration as well. So they've already failed. They can't fail again. So they're they got their backs to the wall. I mean, I think our best bet is probably to fight, unless unless we can send um, unless we can send somebody in there to talk to him. But I don't know what we'd say unless we said like the Lord of Three has you know retasked you with doing something else. But the well, the only other option I'm thinking other than that, which is unlikely to work, is to try to get you see that north tunnel that's like what thirty feet away from us. That's the only other way if we want to explore more before we uh, try to confront them. So, but I, I'm not sure. Because they could also spot us going in there. Very easy. Um, who, who in the group has the ability to put like a shield or, 
or kind of that sort of spell or whatnot on other people? I think I do. Um, I... Anyone standing very close to Philip is more protected. Yeah. Just by his martial abilities. And I can also give a shield of faith. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. If we can give a shield, we give our two heavies. So Philip and Proud we both get a decent shield. I can't give shield to anyone. Um, but at least if we can do that, it's some extra protection to protect uh, myself and Roland. All right, let's do it. All right. So. Since they don't see you yet, if any one of you choose to do something, you can do so before we roll initiative. If any one or all of you choose to do something. So, Lord Riz, you're saying you want me and Proud to use Shield of Faith, or that spell... On you and Roland? Uh, no, on, on, on Philip and Proud. To so, like, give use them it on each other? Armor. No, no, on Philip and Proud. That way, they, they're the two heavies. They can go a bit more forward with that shield, knowing that they'll be a bit more protected. That way, uh, Roland and myself can pick them off from the back. All right, so, Proud, let's just use it on each other. <laughs> okay. I guess that's how that's how it would work, right? Right? Yes, you can do that. Now, Shield of Faith is a spell. So that would take up one of your spell slots if you decided to cast that on Proud. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Target Proud. Then hit the little uh, spyglass next to on the right side of Shield of Faith. Yeah, and the and effect. Click on and click on the effect. All right. So, and then Proud, Proud now has that effect. Proud could do the same thing to Philip. Target Philip. Unless she decides to be That's not, right. very, not a good teammate and doesn't do it. Okay. So, target Philip. Open up the spyglass next to, um, to the right of Shield of Faith. Mm -hmm. Once you have Philip tar targeted, and then click on that effect. Um, the one that doesn't say self, right? Right. Oh, yeah, you can cast it more than one way. It's just when I wasn't looking at your character. I was looking at Philip's character. So if you look at the thing on Shield of Faith, that's right. You have it in a different way. So you want to click on the center one. And that just gave Shield of Faith to Philip, which reminds me I need to fix Philip's shield of faith. We'll do that between sessions. Um, you are now was it, proud, was it proud who had that that spell that could everyone that extra boost? I can't remember what it was for. Yeah, I have Bless, which can be up to three creatures. And you get an extra roll. You, you could cast that ahead of time, since you have not alerted them yet. What is this um, cantrip that's the guidance? That's an interesting cantrip. Okay, let's take a look at it. This time, this time I'm going to hit the uh, little information icon. If you touch one willing creature once before the spell ends, the target can roll an extra four-sided die and add the number. You have to be in touching distance of a person to use guidance. In other words, if distance? you put your hand on Roland's shoulder, this is just an example, before he fires his shot and say, I'm using guidance, he would get an extra four-sided die in his attack roll. Okay. So I could do that with Bless as well? Right now, you're not spending any time because they don't see you. We're not in combat. You could do Bless right now, and it isn't even your turn yet. You can just go ahead and do a Bless. It okay. would take up a spell slot, however. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with doing that. Cool. Go ahead and target the people you want to Bless. You've got Philip, Lord, oops, you got Lord Riz. 
Did it take Philip away? Yeah, it took Philip away. Now you've got Philip and Lord Riz. And now you've got all three of them. You know how to do the bless? I think I got it. Yep, they've just they've all been blessed. Okay. That is complete. Does anybody okay. have the skill called investigate with a big plus to it? Investigation. This says when you uh, when you look I'm around. In... I have investigation plus five. It says you might deduct a location of a hidden object or where does it say it at? Hold on. Or determine the weakest point in a tunnel that could cause it to collapse. So could we do a check to see if maybe we could ca cause some rocks to uh, fall on the group of co kobolds? Is that possible? I suppose it would be if you wanted to make that roll. Must I, I have no problem with you guys into the dice tower. Yark, yark. Yark, yark. Yark. This whole cave looks awfully stable to you. It's been here for a long time. In fact, you kind of get the idea the kobolds probably aren't the first people to have used this cave. You don't see anything that would help you in that respect. Okay. It is interesting that the water is coming through the roof in a, a hole that's a good... 10, 12 feet in diameter falling through falling through rock up there. Looks pretty solid, though. Philip, are you actually making that I move? I didn't mean to. <laughs> All right, I took it away. All right. The reason, the reason I'm asking is because if you made that move, that would really change things. Yeah, right now, I... you guys are hidden in the shadows, <laughs> but you won't be as soon as you step forward. I was trying to see the distance, and I accidentally let go of the... That's all right. I can fix that. Anybody else want to do anything? Um, if, if I hunters, if I target them with a hunter's mask, it, it would start combat, right? Yes, you... Oh, no, targeting them won't. If you want to target one of the coal, kobolds with Mark of the Hunter... Uh, what is it called? Mark of the Hunter? Hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. Hunter's mark. Oh. You can do that. So, target a cobalt. Oh, I gotta get my combat thing up. Hold on. There we go. Oh, why am I not targeting? It's control, right? Oh, there we go. There you go. You got it. And now, open up with the little spyglass, Hunter's mark. And just click on the effect. It should put it on yourself. It looks like it did. Yep. Oh. You are now. Uh, you no. It hasn't yet. You got a bless. Do I need to click? So when I clicked on it, it said effect. Do I need to click on that again? Yeah. Click on the effect. And then oh, targeting self. So I want to. No, no. I'm sorry. Drag effect to yourself. Grab a hold of the effect and drop it on yourself in the combat tracker. See if that, there you go. Now you've got Hunter's Mark. See it? Okay. Yep. All right. Now you can move your Hunter's Mark between turns. It isn't stuck on that one Cobalt. Does that count as my attack? When let I move me, it? Let me look very carefully. Uh, you choose a creature you can see within range and mystically mark it as your quarry. Until the spell ends, you can do an extra six out of die of damage to the target. Uh, wisdom per, if the target drops to zero, okay. If the target drops to zero hit points before the spell's in, you could use a bonus action to move it to another target. So a bonus action is an extra action. So no, it would not take up your turn. If you kill it, you can move the hunter's mark to something else. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, do we want to roll uh, initiative? Not yet, we don't. Proud, is that the position you want to start in, or do you want to start up there next to Philip? You could stand next to Philip. Thinking here? Is that where you meant to move? Because Roland can look over your shoulder and fire his bow if he decides to. He's close enough to you that you won't be in his way. We can't hear you, Jill, if you're muted. Can, can I do the same if I'm here? Yes, you can. 
All right, then I'll move the. If you're that I'll close, yeah. if you're that close to somebody, they're not really considered in your way, because they're the people in front of you are cooperative. Okay, you guys are in movement position. You have not alerted them yet. Somebody can take a combat action before we roll initiative, or a movement action depends on what you want to do. Um, um I could move forward a bit just to kind of get that started. What are y'all thinking? Lord Ridge, you don't have like an AOE of any sort, do you? Uh, AOE? Uh, area of effect spell? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, because as far as I know, if I remember correctly, sleep doesn't work on kobolds. That is not true. Sleep does not work on the Oh, so I can use... Uh, oh, okay. oh, brilliant. Now, you do have an area of effect spell, but unfortunately, it's very short range. Burning hands is a cone, but it's very short range. Yeah, but that, it also affects my own team if they're standing yes, in front of me. That, that is correct. Uh, I, I think I'll save that for a difficult so, quick situation. If close to me, you know, one of those. Go ahead, Philip. Oh, wait, so where I'm putting my character to move, I don't want actually to move, but it, so that area, it's lower than the rest of it. By about How? three feet. Okay, so would, if we went, if somebody went down there, would the people in the higher areas get like any advantage of any kind, or is it just it doesn't really matter? Not, it's not enough to make that much of an of an advantage. Okay. But you get the feeling that if you moved out of the shadows that you're standing in, you would be seen. Oh. Okay. Can you guys hear us? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Good. How often can I switch out my cantrip? Like I, I have... every long, every long rest. Okay. I just want to read up on my sleep spell and find out how many I can target again. I think. Well, you target all of them, but the the question is, is how many uh, how many dice worth do you put to sleep? You don't get to determine how many of them you put to sleep. You would right, target so does... and. You would target an area and it would hit all of them. But then we would see is, who fell asleep and who didn't. Yeah. Is everyone all right with me starting off by casting sleep before we we, we roll initiative and see how many of them I can knock? That's, that's fine with me. Yeah. Yep. Fine with me. Just a moment. Okay. Within 20 feet of a point, you could hit, you could target all of them. Uh, all right. There is a thing on the map to target everything, but looks like you're getting it taken care of. <laughs> Have I got everyone marked now? There are ten of them, so... Looks you like you do. Um, do you see the little circle up at the very top? Of the map that says it says target enemy units, it targets all of them if you click it. Oh, uh, okay, the the very last one, yeah. Uh, Dwight, I'm not sure how to cast sleep again. Did I do okay. it right? I just click open thing, open right? up uh, now that you have them all targeted. Use the spyglass to open up the sleep spell. Oh, it doesn't okay. show it doesn't show the attack itself. No, it just right. shows effect, which I click. You've already so you might your... want to clear your cards. Oh, yeah, I might want to clear them because it... they're sleeping. Yeah. I don't think that's the right way because I got all of them. Yeah, you got all of them. Let me, let me clear that. that you don't that... have Kobold 3 targeted. It's that, like, almost bottom left one. Yeah, I got it now. I figured that yeah. I... thanks to... We're going to roll. We're going to roll. Okay, read read, read the spell. What's, what's the saving throw? They have to do a wisdom saving throw, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think so. 
Hang on just a minute. Let me make sure I got them all. I think I got them. Okay, just a minute. Let me uh, let me let me check the spell. There is no wisdom saving throw. All right, you are going to cast five eight sided die. So you know uh, how to cast into five the of them. Dice tower. Into the uh, dice tower into yeah, the... put them in the dice tower. The eight sided die. That's not. I don't think that was eight sided die. Nope, that was not eight sided dice. <laughs> the eight sided die is the fourth one from the right or the third one from the left. The very pyramidy looking one. That's it. Thank you. Stand by. Wh show me your target. Where did you target? Uh, all of them. <laughs> right, but you but you you cast it in an area within twenty feet. I'll say you car targeted number thirteen. Does that uh, sound about uh, right? So if you targeted number thirteen, let me start with him. You failed to put any of them asleep. Just a moment. That was a terrible oh. one. It was a bad <laughs> roll. Wait, could he do inspiration? He could. Do you want to do inspiration before I roll their perception? Do you want to try rolling uh, that again? Yeah, I'll try rolling it again. I'll use my All right. inspiration. I'm taking inspiration off. Roll those five eight-sided die again. You just put two of them asleep. All right, well, that's better than none. <laughs> yeah. Cobalt number 13 is unconscious. Cobalt number 14 is unconscious. Right, wait a minute. I only see the effect on one of them. I see it on both. Okay. All right. Uh, I see it on both. Okay. Uh, do we want to roll initiative now? Uh, let me find out if you're going to roll it. Yes, you're going to roll initiative now. Yeah, we're going to roll initiative now. Two of them just fell asleep. That's going to alert them. Am I not rolled? No, I don't see I that. do not see initiative for Proud or Lord Riz. Lord Riz did an intelligence check <laughs> instead of an initiative roll. There he goes. <laughs> So proud on the main sheet. <laughs> okay. Where it Sorry, says main. I can see the dice rolling in my screen. Roll it on. Me. Really, ro drag that dice just into the chat window, not in the tower. There you go. Why am I always I saw last? Three times roll across the screen. That's weird. All right, the first to move is Wing Cobalt number five who takes into the air and flies over to here to look at what's going on. Cobalt number one steps up to the pond toward you guys. They're still peering. They're a little confused. Do we know if they like this water or not? Dwight's made comments about it several times, hasn't he? About yeah. what? The water. There's something with the water. Do we know if they like the water or not? You don't know. They don't seem afraid of it. Okay, I was gonna say this one is standing in it, so I was just wondering. That one moves, pulls out a sling, and attacks Philip with a sling. Misses him. Sweet. Roland, it's your move. So just just to verify, because I thought I targeted Cobalt fifteen with my hunter's mark. Is that just effect on me? Because it doesn't show anything on him. Cobalt number 15 is unconscious, isn't he? No. No, it's uh, Sorry. Cobalt 14 and then no. uh, the wing. 13. Co okay. So is my hunter's mark on me or him? I'm confused by this, I guess. The, the hunter's mark is on you. Okay. So when you switch targets, you will lose it unless you use a bonus action to okay. move your hunter's mark. But the hunter's mark is on you because it's going to affect your role. Okay. It's just confusing to, to tell which one I have targeted with hunter's mark. That's why I was curious. Okay. Right. I just right. got to remember. Okay. But I see you having number 15 targeted. Right. 
So you can now do your attack, and it should. It threw the extra four-sided die. Hit. And this should do extra damage. And it did extra damage. Killed it. You can now move your hunter's mark. So target a different creature, and the hunter's mark will continue. That's all I have to do is target him, or I don't have to recast anything? Correct. Okay, perfect. Now, are you going to move? No, heck no. Stay back Cloud. in sissy land. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to stay back and see if maybe I can hit one of these with a crossbow. How far away do I have? The one flying, or the one on the ground, or one of the ones in the back? The old one. The one on the ground. Hold it. What was that? <laughs> what? Sorry. And if you attack a whole bunch. Oh! No, you only had one. T oh, you had Philip. You had Philip targeted. Let let's start that over again. Take the target off of Philip. You're targeting Philip. trying to Phillip. kill Philip. <laughs> control, yeah. okay. Now control click the cobalt like you're attacking. Sides. Number one. There you go. Now on your actions, roll up to the top and find the crossbow light okay. and go ahead and drag that dice with the plus two into the chat window. I thought we could just click on it. Why are we dragging it? Uh, you probably can click on it. I'm just, I'm just trying to. Boy, that did not. That did not. Why isn't that working? Cl try clicking on it again. There's something going on here. Try clicking on it. Okay, I clicked once and it didn't do anything. So should I? Okay, double, double click. click. All right, that worked. This time it actually worked the way it's supposed to. So we're going to count this one. You hit it off a few arrows because it it went crazy taking away your arrows. Okay, so now you can roll damage on that cobalt. Heavy damage. Are you going to move? No. Wing cobalt number twelve springs straight up into the air, but does not move forward. He's surveying the situation. He's. He, Cobalt number 14 is asleep. <laughs> is asleep, that's why. Lord Riz, you just hit one with a firebolt. Wounded it. The winged cobalt. That was number five. Philip. So I don't know why everyone's in sissy land back here. I'm going to go You're ahead and The devil stole all the good produce. What was that? Um, <laughs> she's gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go with my short bow. That's I right. Because my dagger, it's I always hit with my dagger, but I'd much rather save that. Cool. What are you gonna yeah. fire at? Uh, cobalt one. Excellent. Great. Nice. That's a critical hit. Nice. And killed it. Nice. Hold it, hold it, hold it. It's unconscious. Be right back. Yeah, it's dying. That's good. Cobalt number 13. Is a... And attacks Philip with a sling. Oh, no. He's throwing nice. the dagger. Wait. It's the winged cold. Oh, I'm sorry. I moved the wrong one. Uh, Just a minute. Yeah, on my combat track, it says you got winged cobalt, which is that's a supposed seat, to be. So. A, that's supposed to be a oh, 13. I see. There's two different two different cobalt 13s. That's my problem. Cobalt number three. And attacks with the sling. Misses. Cobalt number two. Why do I not see cobalt number two? Ah, that's why. I don't okay. see him either. Stand by. Yeah, there's a problem. There isn't a cobalt two. Number 13. 
is asleep. 17 moves to here. Um, Dwight, I, I shouldn't say this, but I should. Uh, you Cobalt 13 actually isn't asleep. It's the wing Cobalt 13. That's yes, I know. Cobalt 14 is asleep and wing Cobalt 13. I just decided to keep it that way. Uh, all right. So Cobalt 17 is attacking with a sling at Philip. Critical him. Oh. Oh. What, what? Okay. It's a concentration fail. You failed concentration. Proud is no longer under the effect of your shield of faith. Okay. What that was is the cobalt damaged you. You have to have concentration to keep the shield of faith up. So proud is no longer protected by your shield of faith. Okay. It's now wing cobalt number five's move. Number five squawks loudly and moves to here, flying. It looks like he's headed straight for that tunnel. Roland. Troll number five, you're going down, buddy. Now, is that the cobalt that you had targeted before? Yes. So it does have your hunter's mark. Okay, good. You hit him. Heavy damage. Not moving? Proud. By the way, Proud, if you're, like, within the touch radius of me, uh -huh. and somebody attacks you, I can basically make them re-roll, and most of the time, they get a lower damage or stuff like that. What is that part of? It's a, the fighting style. It's, like, protection. He has protection. If you're standing near him, you're extremely hard to hit. Okay. So you just have to be that, like, three-by-three three radius. Well, right? yeah, within a square of him. Can I move there? Yep. Yeah. What's your action? That was your move. Target the swing cobalt up here that already has been damaged. The one that's flying? Yeah. So you've got him targeted, and we decided the double-click works. Yeah. You hit him. Killed it. Nice. Nice. It's going way better than I thought. Yeah, I was a lot more stressed at the beginning. <laughs> when Cobalt number 12 actually backs up to the corner of the cave here, it is flying very high, looking at the situation again. He's not doing anything yet. I think he's going to try to fly out of that hole. What do you guys think? Cobalt number 14 is asleep. Reinforcements. I wouldn't be Lord surprised. Riz. Whoa, hit. Wounded number 17. Okay. All right, Philip. Um, I'm just going to like move up to three. Oh, he finally gets to use his sword. Yeah. Hit. Heavy damage. This time he's attacking with a scimitar. Wait a minute. No, it's a dagger. Hold it. Oh, I mean, I attacked with the wrong cobalt. Sorry. It was winged. I'm sorry. That was winged cobalt number 13. That attack did not happen. There. Now cobalt number three. Will attack Proud with a dagger, or no, attack Philip with a dagger. I'm going to have to individually name all these cobalts so I don't make that mistake. The cobalt numbering system is driving me crazy. And now cobalt number 13 moves to here and attacks Philip with a dagger. Missing him. Cobalt 17. 
untargets Philip and attacks Proud with a dagger. Totally missing. Roland. All right, so which one is going real high? Is it Cobalt, Wing Cobalt 12, I think it is, right? Number 12. Yeah. Near the roof of the cavern. Okay. 95, so that's a little out of my range. I'm going to move up right there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You the uh, one drop to zero, so you can move. You continue with the hunter's mark. Hit him. Wounded him. He's got an arrow sticking out of his side. All right, that's how I roll. Pun intended. All right, proud. I'm gonna use my mace. Hit. Killed him. 17 is gone. Wing Cobalt number 12 totally freaks out with an arrow sticking out of his side. From, his, from a pouch on his side, he pulls out a wand and he waves it. <laughs> This is the first. <laughs> I think we found Flick or whatever his name was. Flick. Just a moment. Hang on, this is going to take me just a minute. I've got to calculate all this. All the kobolds that were dead come back as zombies. See, I knew there was going to be something. No. Oh man. Okay. I'm right in front of a zombie. Can I cast Turn Undead? Who said this was going well? <laughs> when it gets your turn, you can try anything. Okay. I didn't know because it was a cantrip, if it was different. Cobalt number three, Undead Cobalt number three, it's his move. Oh shit and attacks Roland with a dagger. So he was a mistake when he left Sisyphus. Hits him. Oh, 18. <laughs> Concentration, you succeeded. Your hunter's mark continues. He hit you and damaged you, but your hunter's mark is still, is still on the flying kobold that waved the wand. All right. He only hit for three, so I'm all right. Bella. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and target the undead one. Sweet. Wow, undead that again. killed one in an instant. Nice hit. Sweet. Can, uh, hold it. Which one did you target? Uh, the undead cobalt 10. Okay, undead cobalt 10, stand by. Uh, wait a minute. But I clicked. You don't have any cobalt target. Oh, why? Well, I already unclicked it. This is my. I ended oh, up okay. Because uh, I don't see the damage on that one. Undead on, number ten. On the screen. I saw a different one take the damage. Yeah, on the screen. I deleted the cobalt, what? but it. I, I think you may okay. have had a different one targeted. Doesn't matter. Okay. I did delete a cobalt, so we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Okay. keep going. Undead Cobalt number 20. Also attacking Roland. Hits. Holy shnikey. He succeeds again. He's still got his hard hunter's mark. You really need to run back to sissy land. Nah, I'll get, they'll get two attacks on me though. That's true. I, I need Cobalt number 14 is asleep. Undead Cobalt number 16. And attacks Philip. Misses him. Cobalt number 13, I believe, is asleep. No? No, it's not wing. This. It is also attacking Philip. 
Hits him. Very little damage, though. Roll one. Okay, so... I don't know if you can tell us this. You probably can't, Dwight, and that's fine. What do you guys think? If I kill the one who cast the spell, will the undead ones die, or will they stay alive? They'll stay alive. They'll stay alive, but they're already alive. Can we tell if he's concentrating on a spell back there, Dwight? Can you tell? Yeah. He waved a wand. Then he put the wand back in his belt. Okay, so he's not. Okay. All right. Um... He doesn't individually have the power. It seems like he has an item that is doing this. I guess I gotta focus on one in front of me. A proud, do you think on your turn you can move up and help me? Maybe flank the Cobalt 3, the Undead Cobalt 3. You're starting to hear something different. Do you hear that? A wolf? It's coming from the north. Oh, shit. Okay. We can't see anything, though? Can we do a perception check? Not yet. Okay. All right. You can see a little further in there, but you don't see anything yet. You just hear it. Are you changing your target? You had Cobalt 20. But you would have you would have a disadvantage because there's somebody right in front of you. Right. So to tell you the truth, you're going to lose your hunter's mark here. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, twenty in front of me now. Hit. Killed it. All right. Into that. Where's my health at? Your health, if you look on the main the main page, you have six wounds. You have 18 health. You have six wounds. Okay. Oh, I see. There we go. You're not horrible yet. Okay. All right. Go ahead and end your turn. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to try to take the attack moving backwards, but I think I'm all right. And Cobalt 13 is asleep. Proud, your move. Proud, no, you can do I was going to do this turn the undead. Which makes Excellent. Us all run away. Target. Uh, hang on. Let me let me look at turn undead. Stand by. Now turn undead is a power, so it doesn't isn't going to take anything. So target the three undead creatures. Okay. You've got them targeted. Now what you're going to do is you're going to roll the saving throw for them. So go ahead and click on that save. I'm not sure if it's a single or a double click. There you go. You just rolled the save. Let's see what happens. Two succeeded. Number 16 failed. Got it. So 16 is turned. I'm going to turn him upside down. You turned that when the other two succeeded. Okay. You see the failure, success, success. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to move? You cast. Now, do you want to move? Yeah. Did you still need help, Roland? Yeah. Why don't you flank him? That way, we both get uh, attack bonuses. Mhm. Mm and possibly, maybe. Uh... Do you want to move? Yeah, I was going to. I don't think that's the move you want to make, is it? Or does it give this guy an advantage or wake him up? No, because it's turned. There's no way that thing will attack you under any circumstances. Okay. Then I guess I'm confused, I thought. Roland is asking you to move. I'm going to show you. Roland is asking you to move here. Okay. So flanking is only catty corner, not standing. It's one, right. It's one on um, either side of a creature, correct. Now, the only reason you're not getting an attack of opportunity from number 13 is because on uh, number 16 is because number 16 is turned. Okay. Oh, you have finished your move. Cobalt number 10, undead. He's targeted on Philip, attacking with a dagger. Hits. Another three points of damage. Heavy damage to Philip. 
Riz. Riz just hit. Heavy damage. That was to number 12? Uh, yeah. Wow. Smart move. <laughs> this thing is flying fast and high. Like he's headed for the opening that exits the cave. Number three is still targeting Roland. We got to kill number 12 before he gets out of that hole. Hits him. I'm going to hit him on with my next move. You're still succeeding, though. Phillips, move. Four more, so I should have six life left. Eight life left? Okay. So, Kobo, the that one is not running away, right? Which one? The ten. No, it is okay. not. So then I'm just going to go ahead and go for him. Hit him. Killed it. Nice. Nice. That was number 10. All right. Cobalt number 14 is asleep. Undead Cobalt number 16 is running away from Proud. That's an attack of opportunity for Philip, right? That is an attack of opportunity. Philip, you can target number 16, who's down here. I'll move him next to you until the attack is over. Target that kobold and you get a free attack. Yep. Thank you for pointing that out, Roland. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to keep track of everything that can happen. You hit it. Please. Destroyed it. Sweet. Nice. Kobold number 13 is attacking Philip with a dagger. Criticals. Oh, jeez. I'm like dying over here. I have three hit points left. Me and you are both getting welled on pretty good. Rolling. Alright, so am I going to be at a disadvantage if I attack uh, the flying one, number 12? No, because the kobold attacking you is now flanked. Okay. It'll still get to attack you, but you will no longer have a disadvantage. At least that's the way the DM's going to call it. Oh. You are still... Uh, You've succeeded every mark, so you uh, still have your hunter's mark on uh, that. I've got lucky on that. Ah, oh, you hit it! Oh man, I thought I was gonna miss that. Oh yes, you took him out. Sweet. Cobalt number twelve is no longer in the game. That was the one trying to escape. So, and with the wand. It's gonna be proud. Cobalt number no. that's wing cobalt thirteen. He's asleep. Proud. Hey, uh, Proud, I know you can't do it because, well, I know you can't move because then he gets an attack, but I really need help. Okay, I'm looking at my spells right now. Of course, Roland also needs help. <laughs> Both of you are in trouble. I, I have three left. Well, I have this. I know we don't want to wait till you, like, die, but I have a spare the dying. Which I can make you stable if you have zero hit points. Okay. So you touch a we living can creature wait. that has zero hit points, that creature becomes stable. You also have a healing spell you could cast on your spell self. Anybody can. And does anybody have healing potions? That can be your rock. I I don't it's in our party. It's not Oh, you never move them to your own inventory. Uh, I had one at one point, and then we haven't gone back to get oh. anything. Tough choices, Proud. What are you going to do? I also have this cure wound. Yeah, but I think we have to be touching. Yeah, we have to be touching. Okay, I say you just go with um, the one you're flanking. If, if it helps at all, I'm going to be attacking Kerbal 13 in my next move. And then... Uh... Philip gets to move. Yeah. If Ford can attack. Yeah. So you're yeah. okay with me continuing with this guy? The, um, yeah. With three, yeah. Three? Okay. Ouch. You do have inspiration if you want to roll that again. How do 
I, do I click? Inspiration. I took inspiration off. Okay. Go ahead and make your attack roll again. Hit. Heavy damage. All right, Riz. Uh, so what are you going to do? He went for 13. Missed him. Oh, uh, missed. But ninja turn. Let's see if Roland stays alive. I just want to move. Uh, I can't move still. I've put the move in. You can. The undead kobold continues its attack. Hits. Oh, jeez. He, 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 he holds it, though, and Roland is still alive. Uh, still alive. I Four elves. Your move. Poor elves all, right. all bloody and beaten. Still concentrating, though. So I'm going to, like, move there, so I'm within touching distance of Proud, but I'm still in range of 13. That you can do. And then target 13. Hit. If there was ever a time to roll great, you just did it. Yeah. You just took 13 out. Just a moment, let me uh, remove him. I know Thir somebody else has a healing is gone. potion. Who is it that has a healing potion? I, I do. Okay. 14 is asleep. Rolling. All right, so since we're flanking, I get to click the plus two advantage, right? Correct. Is that on attack or damage? Attack. Okay. So click your plus two. Yep. Oh, I didn't have him targeted. Got an extra 27. And yeah, you, you hit him good with a short sword. Oh, wait a minute. You didn't have I him didn't targeted. Have targeted dang That's it. Okay. Oh, you go. I'm going to make you reroll it. Okay. All right, I mean. Do I, need, do I need to hit plus two again now? Oh, yeah. Click okay. and make sure the plus two is highlighted. You hit it. <laughs> you took it out. Instant death. Decapped him. Even though he's already undead. Um, All of the awake cobalts are accounted for. Oh, I can't move 41. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I was wait, at 45. Wait. Hey, Roland. Yeah. So I've got preserve life. So I can choose any creatures, multiple, within 30 feet of me and divide 10 hit points between them. Oh, okay. Can you cancel my movement? I'm not sure how to do that. Do I? Done. You? So, Proud, you're targeting Philip and Roland? Is, is it my turn? Uh, it, we are no longer really in combat. So, okay. yes. Yes, I'm going to target both of them. Both of them. Uh, which... which it's preserve life. Mm -hmm. So if you have them both targeted, let's see how this works. Click on the heel and let's see if it works properly. You want me to do the plus sign? Yep. So that... No, that gave 10 to both. That is incorrect. I just wanted to see how well it would work. Okay. So he has to 8, and Philip is to... 11. Cool. They're better. We, I am going to end initiative because there's not a lot of point in being in initiative at this point. Uh, do we want to... I can try... To, I want to try and interrogate one of these two, but the other one we need to get rid of, the two that are asleep. I think the wing cobalt might be the best one to, to interrogate. I'm very intimidating. Like, plus four intimidation. But do you... So I could just go there? Intimidate him? So are you going to wake the cobalt up? Well, what are your... Lord, Lord Riz can decide that they're awake, or if you touch him... Let's get in flanking position in case uh, it doesn't go well so we can murder him. Lord Riz, is that what you're thinking? Like, 
Uh, well, we can interrogate, but uh, can you speak Draconic? No, that is true. So I'll have to interrogate. Oh. Okay. okay, do I um, interrogate? You know how to do it? In your skills, find uh, you're going to want you're going to try to intimidate him. Well, more to interrogate. Him. Well, there is no skill interrogate. Are you going to try to persuade him in a friendly fashion after killing all of his friends, or are you going to try to intimidate him? I'll intimidate. Do I roll so the there isn't an hour. interrogate skill, right? So you're going to try to intimidate? Yeah. So take that plus one on intimidation and put it, drag it into the dice tower. All right. This cobalt is now wide awake. You guys are surrounding it. It's fighting like crazy. It's screaming and fighting and trying to fly up as you guys are grasping at it. It didn't go well. It's not speaking anything. All right, I think we just got to kill it then. Yeah, I'll just kill it then. Go ahead and target it and make your roll. You get plus... You're going to get plus five on this the way it's flanked. Ooh. That was definitely a hit. Heavy damage. Philip, you can also go. Uh, can I do an attack? I've always, I want to use my quarter star. <laughs> I've never used it. After Philip, yes. <laughs> you get a plus five on the attack. Yeah. That hit. Took it out. Try it on the other one or just kill it? Just kill it. You guys can do a coup de gras and kill him while it's asleep. That's not really a problem, so I'm going to go ahead and take him out. All right. I'm anxious to see this sweet magic wand that raises the undead. Yeah, me too. I'm, I want to see what it's like. Maybe we can use it ourselves. I don't think... Uh, I take it you're searching that one kobold's body? Oh, we're going to search them all. Oh, I will search them all. <laughs> Most of them don't carry anything that you would have uh, anything worthwhile except one of them. And I'm going to drag these items into the. I'm going to drag these items into the uh, party sheet. Wait a minute. I'm going to drag one of them. There's one item that you found. He also carries a note, but it's not written in a language. Here, I'll just. Here's what the note says. Can anyone read it? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it says, use the one to destroy Caster, then Sea Haven, and then other villages in the east. Afterwards, return to me, Lord of the... Th I'm sorry, how the heck do I see the party inventory again? Uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the little symbols with two people in the upper right-hand corner. Ah, thank you. The party sheet. I think it's probably And the then there's one. an inventory, and you'll notice that there's a wand in the inventory. Okay, who can identify? Uh, both me and Proud should be able to. I see we take time. Identify, identify is a spell. Yeah. Now... Riz can do it without using a spell lot, but slot, but it'll take him like a half an hour to do it. Let him do it. We got time. Yeah, I'll do it now. Right. You're going to go ahead and do it now, so you guys are going to take a short rest. Stand by. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Just a minute. Clear initiative. Rest. You're doing a short rest. Now, 
But the short rest means anyone that is hurt, like Philip, you can open your sheet, go to main, and you can take that one hit die you have, Wait, drag um, it in, drag it into the chat window. Technically, because it's a different session than the last session, when we, when, aren't I supposed to have two? No. You gain them back after a long rest, and it has not been a long oh, rest since the last okay. time you used it. We so, don't pretend do we that any to... time has passed. So, do, I, do you want to take a long rest, yeah? We you, could. You could. You haven't explored this entire cave. You don't know yeah. we, we heard yeah, what we, else might we be wait. here. Well, no, yeah. We heard the wolves, so I think they're coming. Remember? Did you Roll it in the chat bubble? So. Yep, just drag it into the chat window. And that's the black dice. This is by HD. You get a negative five. What? Stand by. <laughs> uh, that that made no cost, sense I'd... to me. I, I don't know why he got a negative five. That makes no sense to me. I'm going to give him the six points. I'll have to look. I'll have to study that later on. I don't want to hold up the game. So that's the black uh, dice. Is there some uh, other wait, effect? Do I get some help back? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I've already given it to you. You okay. now you now only have five wounds. Does anybody else want to roll? Yeah. Uh, See, Roland didn't get the negative cost... five. What the heck was that about? It just doesn't like me. I guess so. Do I, I just want to roll identify on the ash one. Okay, now you don't have to roll identify. If you're casting, if you're casting it, you will identify it. You ready? All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll cast. It. it is now identified. The lesser one of the ancient lord of. So evil There's only. Does that mean there is a there is a picture of it? Well, we can't destroy it. <laughs> I've never seen the picture. Uh, if you look in your inventory, there's a little icon down below weight. There's a little little eye icon that you can click on. Here, I'll share. I'll share the image so you see it. That's not. That's not very cool. Looks like a, a broken off stick. <laughs> Basically. Yes, it does. But Lord Riz knows what it is. It's a lesser wand of the ancient Lord of Three. So does the evil only thing mean that only evil, evil people can wield it? Correct. No, anyone... Well, it says here, uh, this one will raise any humanoid type to undead state. It is zombies or skeletons depending on the age of the remains. It is everlasting and has endless charges it provides no control of the undated raises correct the one doesn't but if you look if you look at the case. subtype if you look at the subtype it requires an arcane focus that is only usable by evil ah okay this thing turns philip's stomach the thing is practically fit proud as well. The thing is practically glowing evil. I say we destroy it. We can't be destroyed. We can't be destroyed. Let's just like throw it in a corner and run. I mean, we really shouldn't bring it with us, and what else can we do? Proud, I'm going to speak for you if you don't mind. Sure. Proud is going to reach into her history and say, Items like this, when you throw them away, have a tendency to be found and by exactly the wrong people. But I think, I think, I think we, should, <laughs> we, we should keep it in our party sheet and then leave it on the wagon. And Wait, then when we go, go somewhere where there's, it's like a secure place, we can give it to someone to look like after. One, maybe like one of the we, churches and they'll know what to do? Like... Yeah, or like the king's guard or something. Yeah. The thing seems so nasty 
you're a little ner you would be a little nervous about trusting it to anyone. All right, did anybody look. did anybody watch the Lord of the or ever read the Lord of the Rings? No, never read it's it. It's not quite that bad, but almost. <laughs> the One Ring to the one the the one one to rule. It has a, <laughs> it has a tendency it has a tendency to be found. So are you saying if we carry this Why with us? Is it gonna like? Is it because I remember you mentioned magical things kind of bind with the person? Only this will only bind to an evil person. Okay. By the way, do you guys remember when we created the party before we even started playing the game, and I said no evil characters? <laughs> right. Oh, this this okay. is one of the main reasons why no one is going to bind to that one in this party. All right. However. So do we want to explore the rest of this cave yet? Yeah. Do you want to go north or south? South. Wait. Because oh. that's kind of going towards the way we came, and I feel like north is going to head. Like, like we're gonna continue north in the end. So I'd rather just kind of go around south, kind of go through that, and then go. Is there a reason north. why we're not just leaving? But it's a story. I, I I think we did the story part. I think we're just gonna run into more giant bats and wolves. I think we need At to go. Some point, do we want to go pick up our horses and our cart? Well, I mean, we we read we the can't note. Bring them. I think we need to get this news to the king, the, the leader of the, the ring of the three guys about to attack them. Yeah, but where is the wolf coming from? Is that outside? To the north. He said it was to the north. I, I, don't, I just don't think there's anything else Phillip? in this cave. Philip, mm -hmm. there are some piles of items you can see in the distance in the cave to the south. See, this is why I'm saying we should go south. Uh, he did. It's funny. He rolled it. He saw them. <laughs> All right. Whatever the party thinks. I feel like the south, there might not be things down there in, in the south part. North, that's a different story. Stand by just a moment. This is a natural cave with ceilings that are 30 feet high. Can I use my uh, perception? To the north, yes. To the north are mats of straw and old rags that appear to be a sleeping area. There's a, a pile of debris to the south. The debris is obviously items found in the caskets. There are many pieces of shiny but worthless junk. There are rusted out blades and armor mixed with quite a number of things of value as if the cobalts were not sure of the distance. Difference. I'm going uh, to should... move these items into the... I take it you guys are going to... Uh, no, you tell me what you're going to do. Never mind. Well, I think we should just take the items of value. The items of no value are pointless. Yeah. Okay. I've moved the items that look like they might be valuable into the party inventory. Anybody want to do anything? Uh, I want to call... Are, are we happy to take a break here? Because I want to try to identify that cloak. Because that's something I... Well, you don't even know if it's magical yet. I, I say we get out of the cave if we're going to rest. Since there's stuff in here. Go back to town. I'm fine with whatever y'all are thinking. You guys heading out? I can do that. It's up to you. I need, I need to know what the party's doing. Yeah, I say we get out of here. All right, yeah, let's head out. If you take the path you already know, you will be able to get out of the cave without a lot of difficulty. Yeah. Hang on just a moment. I'm going to move you. If you take the path you already know. You decided not to look in the cave where the wolf howling was. So I'm going to move you outside. 
You'll have to scroll way around to see where you are. I have a feeling there's going to be something significant about that northern cave. Somebody have some lore about wolves or something? Well, if somebody has, like, something for animals, I don't know. I have animal handling where I can, like, calm one down, but... Are you guys going to head back toward, head towards town? You walked this whole way. You didn't bring any horses or anything. Yeah, we're going to head back. By just a moment. That's not what I wanted. Right, let me close out the maps we're no longer using. Okay, I've got the campaign map. Everybody see it? Mm -hmm. yep. You guys start heading back through, back through the woods the way you came. On the way back, as the party enters the clearing, a voice calls out from the far side of the trees. Just a moment. Ho there, friends. Into the clearing strides Ned, soldier of Astor in his blue tabard and white trim. Is everyone okay? After talking with Harlan, I thought one of us ought to see if you guys were okay and found anything. Yeah, it's, I think we tell him everything. What do you guys yeah. think? Yeah, I'd say we tell him everything. Well, he'll just be amazed by your story. He'll say, Sir Moore and Tom and I came out to Castor. We arrived this morning. Harlan explained what happened. Harlan was trying to train two very young men to be his assistants. Ned laughs. He was attempting to teach them to fight with sword and shield. Harlan's a good man, but he's no expert in fighting. Sir Moore offered Harlan a trade for a month. He left Tom and I here in Castor to aid Harlan, and Sir Moore took Harlan's lads back to the Southeast Tower so he and Brad could train them properly. Harlan was quite pleased to accept our help, as you can imagine. Uh, let's ask him if he wants to travel back with us to Castor. Oh, absolutely. He doesn't want to be any longer in this wood. Can we make you it get to Castor? You get time? to Castor about nightfall. Okay. On your return to Castor, you find Harlan has been quite busy. There's a large bonfire uh, consuming the fallen bodies just to the south of town. I think, I Ned, think we Ned takes I Ned think takes you into uh, Ned takes you into Harlan's office. Harlan is in there. What do you uh, tell him? Um, everything that happened. Mm -hmm. Define everything. Are you going to show him the wand? No. No. The wand's the only thing we'll keep. So you're not going to talk about the wand? Well, he's the force. He's asking. I wonder how the kobolds achieved all this. How did they do all that? Kobolds don't have the power to raise the dead. Oh. They had help from we the Lord of the Three. That. We don't, we don't mention the wand. We just say yeah. that help, help from the Lord of Three. Lord of Three? He says, you know, I know something. Uh, wait a minute. He starts digging around through his books, and he pulls out this huge old book. It's a heavily damaged picture book, but each page shows a symbol with a name under it, as if teaching sigils and symbols to children. Many pages are missing, but one page has this symbol on it. It's the same symbol that you saw on the wand, and under it is titled, The Lords of Three. Roland, Roland falls, to, I'm not Roland, Lord Riz falls to his knees, his eyes going bright wide open. This sometimes happens to Lord Riz whenever a vision he has becomes a reality seeing it's that symbol three, in three black rings yes remember the vision i'm gonna just open my vision. three circle the circular black rings they slowly converge as they start to meet in the middle where they overlap there is less than nothing 
pulsing empty void that pulls all the light from the vision as the vision fades from the yeah, as, as the vision fades you need you kind of bugged out there as the vision faded he hold a, heard a bell tolling and that's when the uh, zombies and skeletons attacked caster you still there riz yeah I'm still here okay i hear you now better sorry we... So he rem he remembers that symbol. Is that the only thing in the book? Is that symbol, or is there any? Brief there's writing? lots of different weird symbols, griffins and uh, dragons, and there's all kinds of weird symbols in the book. But this is the one that is titled "The Lords of Three. What's What's the book? What's the title of the book? He, the cover has been destroyed. It's the book does is it, ancient. Does it? Does he know anything about the Lords of Three? No, he says this book is from the ancient kingdom. It's incredibly old. He says it's a book of sigils. Harlan begs you guys to do to do a job for him. There's a messenger that rides from New Astor to Castor and back once a month, but he was just here a few days ago before anything bad happened. And all we heard then was that fisherman's story who lost his mother. It's sad to say it was not believed, nor was it reported as news. I will see you paid 50 gold to deliver a message to King Maven. I'll pay 10 of it myself with a promise of 40 more upon your arrival. There you can advise King Maven and perhaps find more information about this and ask for help for Castor. I say we do it. Uh, yeah, I say we do it. Because then when we go see the king, at least we might find someone to give the one to. Harlan sits to write the message. He makes no attempt to hide what he's writing. In fact, he says it out loud as he writes it. Your Majesty King Maven, Castor has come under attack by powers of the ancient world. An artifact from the ancient lords of three was involved. Castor Cemetery has been ransacked and its dead were somehow brought back to fight the living. Castor has only survived by the efforts of the four that carry this message. They are trusted by, by me and I vouch for their conduct in an audience with your highness. Do not be fooled by their strange and foreign appearance. They are heroes in our eyes. Please send whatever help you can to Castor. I have hired two young men to assist me in helping the people and shoring up the town defenses. With the assistance of Sir Harold Moore, they are being trained. I have promised this party 40 gold upon deliverance of this message. I trust the crown to make good on that promise. Your obedient servant, Harlan Peetsum, Magistrate of Castor, and King's representative in the Southeast. Hey guys, I was just looking at the said by Kobolds. It says... We must do this while the humans are looking to the west. Our task is the east. This is my guess of them trying to bring us west. He rolls the message and seals it with a healthy dollop of wax and imprints it with his personal seal. He says this should get you an audience with the king. Please deliver it to the king's guard upon your arrival. Please do not deliver it to anyone other than the King's Guard. You are welcome to stay here for the night or at the Fishtails Inn if you prefer, but I beg you to make the trip to New Astor soon. Uh, I think it's best that we do go see the King because at least that way we can learn more about this stuff. Uh, I don't think anyone out here is really going to have the information we need, whereas we go to the capital, there's a high chance that someone might know something. Philip? You're not wrong about what that what they were saying. However, how they were going to take Sea Haven was with a power that you now have in your possession. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, how were they going to attack Sea Haven? With the wand. Can you imagine the graveyard of Sea Haven? It's a much bigger place. Harlan says, you can either camp here or free room and board at the fishtails on me, or I should say, on the ground. Maven is the one paying for it through me. Uh, I think let's go to the tavern and spend the night there. Yeah. Sounds good. Is anyone doing anything tonight? 
Uh, I'm healing, but other than that, no. Rob? I need to do my rolls. Yes, you do. Rob? Um, no. I was going to heal up, but nothing else. Or get my spells back. Can I do that? Yes, you can. Must I just roll them into the chat? Can uh, yeah. Just go ahead and roll them into the chat. Can I buy Rob, arrows you... from one of, like, the... Oh, wow. Josh. You rolled a pair of 15s. That's interesting. Proud I sent you a whisper. Oh. Uh, I, I guess I am praying tonight. I'm reading my notes. I would also like to restock on my arrows, too. Yeah, if there's, like, a shop somewhere. Yes, you'll be able to get uh, your arrows replenished and so forth. It, it won't even cost you very much. I'll just take it out of the party um, funds. I literally have Can... one arrow I need. Oh. Does anyone have uh, an identifier like thing so they can identify something? Because my identifier only identifies magic, and there's a cloak in our part in party inventory I want to identify. Proud has a cantrip, I believe. Isn't it proud to detect magic? Mm -hmm. I can detect evil. Oh, no, it's a level one spell, but if she takes 30 minutes to do it, it won't take a slot. It's up to Proud if she wants to cast that. Oh, the detect magic? Yes. Yeah, I can cast. A whole, several things. Oh, sorry. Several, oh, you're fine. Several things glow. Just a moment. A bronze ring starts glowing. A, a long sword that you picked up starts glowing. A long bow that you picked up starts glowing. The wand, of course, glows. And the cloak is glowing. This doesn't All detect right. evil, right? Nope, it just detects what is magical. Yeah. Uh, and so far, a whole bunch of those things are magical. Can I nice. cast identify on all of them? You can. It will take you two or three hours to do so, but you can. What do you want to start with? Uh, I'll start with the cloak, but then I'll do the rest afterwards. You can go. The cloak is now you... identified. Can I please take the cloak into my own inventory, guys? There is an image in the description that you can click the little uh, eye where it says next to image. You can see what it looks like. Can we just identify everything while we're here? Oh, magical. that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. He's taking uh, an hour to identify to it everything. Won't, it won't open the image. It says okay. unable to open. I'll, yeah. I'll share it. That's, oh, what, the, no. that's what the cloak looks yes. like. Damn yes, yeah. So you're gonna drag the cloak out of uh, inventory and into your own inventory, and then make sure you wield it. And because it's not armor, he can wear it. Right. Okay. The longbow is now identified. As is the long sword. And the mace. Ooh, plus one mace. And the bronze ring. Uh have you done the, the longbow? I don't see anything on it. Oop, nope, I must have missed it. There, now it's identified. We all basically got an item. With an extra one. That's awesome. Uh, does anyone want to have dark vision or, or can I take it? I don't need it. What's it do? Roland, you're the only person that doesn't need it. Oh yeah. You ought to, you you have dark mission already. Yeah, I don't Cloud, know. Lord Riz, and Philip, any one of them could use that. I'm gonna grab the bow though. I think. Can I take the plus one mace and upgrade mine? Absolutely. Well, it's up if it's up to the party, but yeah. Oh yeah. It's for you. Yeah, any objections? No. 
Hey, Roland, what uh, bow do you have currently? Regular longbow. Can oh. I have that one? Because you're not going to need that, right? Hold it. Nope. I don't know if you can use it, though. don't think you can use it. Okay. I'm going to put you it You can use a short bow, bow, but not a long bow. Okay. I think that long sword's for you, though, the plus one long sword. Don't use yeah. a long sword? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need to choose who who's gonna get the ring of dark vision, which I don't mind. I think if, if, um, if I think it's easiest if if we all want it, we just do a roll to see who gets higher. Well, yeah, I, I I think can... it needs to be one of the tanks since they're gonna be up closer. They're gonna be able to spot things before me and you will, and I have it anyways. But yeah, well, I guess that's true as well. So, Philip and Proud, one of you can take it. Proud, do you want it? You can have it. You can have it? Sure, I'll take it. Okay. Are you taking it, Proud? Yep. All right, that's going to give you... How do I take them, or are you? do you give them to the people? Go to the party sheet. Okay. See the little eye next to the item? Mm -hmm. Open your inventory on your and drag it Drag that eye from the party sheet into your inventory. Got it, okay. I'm just going AFK for a minute. I'll be back now. Certainly. I am going to manually give you the ability because I assume you're going to wear it. Mm -hmm. So if you look at your main sheet now, you now have dark vision 60 feet. Okay, cool. And I put in parentheses, ring. So you can now see in the dark without a source of light. What is a crossbow hand? It's a hand crossbow. It's a small crossbow. So it's smaller than a light crossbow? Yes. Oh, huh. okay. Does it do, like, less damage and stuff? Uh, I'd have to look at the items. A yeah, hand one's... crossbow? Yeah. I think I'm... I don't really need anything else from the party. Why don't you take the potion of greater healing? Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. I still have me. I, I still have mine, so. Yeah, I get hurt so much. It still says I have a potion of healing, which I know I use. How do I get? Oh, uh, stand by. Because I used it in the graveyard thing. Yeah, I'll delete it. Yes, you did. I remember that now. Potion of healing. Got it. It's gone. Okay. How do I get rid of like it shows that I'm carrying both maces? Correct. In my now, action sheet. Okay. So go to your inventory. Uh huh. You want to if in your inventory you want to see how there's a little. Uh, oh, hang on here, just a minute. I I've made the mace so it's just carried. And the mace plus one, I'm taking it to the shirt. That is now equipped. So when you look in your actions, if you scroll to the top, uh -huh. oops, it shouldn't have had that other mace in there. Just a minute. Do you have more than one mace? No. What we'll do is we'll drag that old mace and we'll put it back in the whole party inventory because that's now something you're willing to sell, isn't it? There, I got rid of the mace. Okay. And now if you look in your action, you have a light crossbow and a mace plus one. So, question. I know for me, I have a long sword two-handed. So when I don't... I will, shield... I will fix that between sessions. Okay. That's sort, of a special, that's sort of a special thing that I have to do. Your long sword two-handed. I will get rid of your old long sword and I'll set up long sword and long, long sword plus one. And the longsword plus one two hundred if you choose to use it that way. I'll okay. fix that. I'll fix that between sessions. Okay. There's only uh, fourteen minutes left in this session, so yeah. So you guys are spending the night here. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other things the party needs to take care of? Not think so. Are we going back to like? Are we at the horses and stuff like that? Is yes. That Okay. You've got your wagon here. You've got the mules. Is these crossbow bolts, is that for the crossbow light, the ammo? Correct. Can I get more of that, too? Yes. 
Go ahead and mark them all as if you have them all back. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll do it for you. Thanks. And I'm going to charge you guys a couple of silver pieces and so forth. I think Roland's probably already fixed his. I have this little info a... icon stuck on my mouse, too. I don't know. Where, <laughs> is, where, is, Roland's, where is Roland's ammo? Did I take them oh, all there, out again? That's why. Oh, there, that's why. There go. Now he's got 20 ammo. Oh, no. He changed weapon. Much from when we landed today. <laughs> okay, you've got 20 dots now for your uh, arrows, Roland. Oh, I forgot about changing weapons. Well, I had I, I was holding 30 before. Were you? I'll give you 30. Stand by. I, for, I forget what happened. I only had 20 and then had... something happened. I think you I bought got, from the store. You, or something. you had 30. Okay. Wait a minute. I put that in the wrong place. I have one of those. 30 of these. There we go. Cool. There we go. I give you 30 daggers. That's not right. All right, and what the other thing we're going to do to you, Roland, is we're going to take your regular dagger out of your inventory and give it back to the party. I almost did that, and I thought well, maybe I want to dual wield them, so I didn't do it. Well, that's possible, but you have a dagger plus one to dual wield with your short sword if you ever wanted to do that. True. You wouldn't use the two daggers. There you go. And you have 30, it shows you have 31 arrows. Yeah, I seen that. I didn't know why it did that. Maybe Philip should yeah, take now you, have, now you, have so that you have two to throw. That's, that's possible, but he doesn't throw them very often. If he's going to throw, he'll use his bow. Right. It's up to him. If he wants to keep that other dagger on him, he can. No. I have no objection. It's just how crowded do you want your sheet? Yeah, I'm fine with the way I'm going. All right, I said we try to make it to the uh, the tower before we call it a night. What do you guys think? All right. Yeah. yeah I think that's idea. I'm healed up, right? Yep. Harlan and Harlan and Ned and uh, Tom see you guys off. Ned and Tom are helping Harlan out. Still says I'm minus five on the combat. Oops, sorry, I forgot to do the long rest. Better. Yeah. I think also we should take another long break at the tower before we before we end the game because then I can roll again so I can build up a couple of rolls for the team. Now you realize you lose the old ones. You don't build up more, right? Oh, uh, okay. I thought I thought I kept. No. It. <laughs> you foresee the next day. You don't see uh, forever into the future. You see the next day. Uh, so you guys are going to travel a good portion of the day. The roll, the roads are very light. There's not a lot of movement going on. So you're going to get there fairly easily. You are seen by Harold Moore and Brad near the tower and the two lads from Castor outside practicing sword play. Sir Moore welcomes you and offers you food and what lodging you can if you desire. Is it nighttime? It's oh, coming okay. night right now. I was yep. just in the busy. I was just busy doing that. Might as well camp here then. Yeah, might as well camp here. Yep. Feed feed everybody and. Sir Moore looks solemnly at his food for a while with a wary eye. He slowly starts to pick at it with a fork, separating the pieces as if he's, as if he's looking for something. Can we ask him if he knows anything about the three rings? No. Three rings? I don't know what he's talking about. He'll tell you that ancient history is not my best subject. But if I remember the old kingdoms of Ashtar had a house called the Lords of Three. Something about a betrayal and the cause of war. And I, I'm sorry, but it's really not my field. But I'm sure you can learn more in New Ashtar. The sage Quendry is an expert on that subject. We were talking about we're talking about events that happened a thousands of years a thousand years ago. I'm good. Anybody else got any questions? I'm good. No, I'm all good. Camp this night out and get back on the road. Yeah. I'm gonna warn the king. I got a feeling Dwight's got this 
timer clicking. Like we don't make it there in a certain time, something bad's gonna happen. Did you see that, Lord Briss? Yeah, I'm busy reading it now. You doing something? You waiting on us to wait? I'm waiting on Lord Briss. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. I just want to make sure you weren't waiting on us to tell us no, no, tell no, you no, what no. we wanted to do. I just don't know if he's going to decide to share that or not. <laughs> All right, it's early morning. You guys are heading up north? Yes. Seems very quiet. You get past the ancient road by nightfall. Uh, guys, if you go into my visions note that I shared public, I got a third vision. That might be worth looking at for me especially since it's idea. evening now i assume you guys are making camp yeah yeah i don't see the third vision either i, I only see two in there let me take a look oh there it is i obviously took a second to add in the ones that starts you see a young knight what is the watch order Right. I'm going to assume that's the prince. And we're foreseeing the uh, attack on the north. Philip, you're the only one that can see this. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I sent you a whisper. Nobody else saw that. <laughs> okay. Is that a kobold? Okay, um... Basically, <laughs> says, uh, you had a fleeting glimpse of something crossing the moon, making no sound, and headed to the east. It only lasted a second. You can't be sure what it is. Uh, what you saw an image in image is in your memory, but you're not sure if it's accurate. It looks like a dragon or maybe a kobold kind of just flying. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Is this like a rock now, or is it just something you see? It ha when you guys were asleep, Philip, who took the first watch, thought he saw something cross the moon. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no way we're going to catch it. I think we. Yeah, if it's a dragon, I don't think we yeah, really want to. Dragon, I'm not even sure if it's a dragon. It's. It has like. It could be a kobold. Because it's like in a black and white, so I can't tell because it was night. But it has like, you know, it looks like it has pretty large wings. So I don't know whether it's a dragon or a cold border. It's something similar to that kind of thing. I, but I'm not surprised if it'd be a cold board coming from the base we were at. Do you think it spotted you? No. Because it would have attacked us. Throughout the night, if we got nothing throughout the entire night, I don't. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. We assume it's just a messenger of some sort, maybe. Yeah, we just make a note of it. So nothing else happens during the night. Rowan, early in the morning. Oh God! In the morning, just before he rouses the others, the last watch hears a, a rushing noise. Before he even has time to wake the others, a shape passes close overhead, flying at tremendous speeds. It passes oh. over them before they have time to see it. When he looks out over the bay for a moment, he sees sees this moving very fast away from the bay to the west. It recedes very quickly into the distance, traveling very fast. And that is a... Roland, dragon. only you can see that image. Okay, it is for sure a dragon, says Roland. <laughs> I was hoping he'd say bear. It, at first, when I was reading it, I thought it was a bear, too. <laughs> uh, okay, um, that's not good. End of the Are session tonight. Dragon right now? What? Are we looking at this dragon right now, or only... Only Roland saw it. By the time he wakes you up, it's gone. Okay, sorry. The sounds were throwing me off. Okay. Uh, okay, so... You may have, the sound may have woke you up. Okay. You guys are probably waking up going, what was that? So the dragon, only, only Roland saw it. A dragon flew somewhere to the west and then flew back. Actually, or to the east. Saw it sorry, to the east. To the east. Sorry, and then flew back to the west. So I'm going to assume 
That may be the Lord of the Three, or the whatever. Lord yeah. of the Three, maybe? Or a messenger, one of the three? And Lord of the Three could be like uh, something like uh, Lord of the Three races, like kobolds, dragons, and something else. All right. It's 7.59 p.m., so we're going to start the next session. Congratulations, the party is now level three. Ooh. Ooh. Can we have an oath or something? So we must log on. Yes, we have all kinds of we have all kinds of stuff. 